I have heard your messages. Your many, many messages about missing the Binding of Isaac. So, hello, you stinky. <laughs> I didn't have one prepared for today. I'm sorry. To the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where, to be fair, I did get an internet upgrade a couple of days ago. Um... And as a result, now doing these are a bit more feasible because it means that my internet upload speed isn't such a bottleneck for content. So let's let's do it. I can't guarantee this is going to be daily, especially because over the course of the next kind of month or so, we're having a lot of people coming to visit just because obviously, you know, in the UK, lockdown has finally ended. Um, so there's family members that we haven't seen for genuinely like nearly two years now, uh, upwards of two years in some cases. So as a result, uh, we're probably going to be a little tight for time and optional content like Isaac and uh, Skyrim will definitely be put on the back burner if if I can't get enough content to uh, to fit around the busy schedule. Anyway, what we're going to do then with this kind of season two of The Binding of Isaac is I want to focus entirely on the tainted characters. Now, I've personally played enough of Isaac with the main characters to last me a lifetime, I think. Uh, the tainted characters, though, they're unique. They're different. They, they're, they're, they're new. And I haven't unlocked all of them. I've unlocked a few more. I did tick off a few characters, like I said I would, um, in between, in, in this kind of little break that we had from Isaac. So I finished the Lost down to um, the Beast or Dogma. I think I completely finished Blue Baby. Oh, no, I didn't actually completely finish Blue Baby. But we're only missing a few characters now, like the Forgotten, the Keeper, the Lost Blue Baby are only the real ones that need finishing off here. So let's dive in then. And we will go for the Tainted characters. Like I said, that's all I want to focus on going forward here. And we'll see how we get on. I think they are generally considered harder. Sorry, I've only just woken up too. So it's going to be a little while to warm up here. Um, but they are considered generally harder, aren't they? Than the, uh, the, the base characters to some degree. I know some of them are pretty silly. Um, I want to start with... Should we go hard today? Let's go Tainted Lost and see what we can do with that. Now, Tainted Lost, from what I recall, has... We, we did play it actually very briefly on the kind of final episode of, of Season 1, if you can call it that. Um, we did play the Tainted Lost actually through quite far. So the way Tainted Lost works is that he gets no items that are considered useless for, for the Lost. So you have no HP, and there are a lot of items that are obviously HP dependent. There's a lot of just straight-up HP upgrades in the game. So... This character will have all of those items removed by default. I'm not sure which of these items are better, if either of them even are. Um, shit, I'm not entirely sure. Turns out health upgrade pills aren't removed from the pool, apparently. So thank you for that one. Uh, I don't really like this one. Although I can't really tell you why. Let's take the jawbone. Why not? This is a little bit of extra. And I assume it, yeah, I assume it's spectral and everything. That's fine. Uh, potentially hive mind. Okay, that could be good. I did up our donation machine a little bit in my... Uh, interim here between Isaac, but not not too much. Now, apparently, the other mechanic of uh, this version of the Lost is that it gains more holy cards as a drop, which is obviously very, very good, but without holy mantle, um, it's a bit of a consolation prize, if nothing else. So, um, you know what? I think Jawbone was the right choice there. One thing to note about Tainted Lost, then, is he starts with a much higher... Let me just make sure OBS is alright, because obviously I haven't recorded this guy for a while. Yeah, it seems alright. Um... It does have a way higher base damage than regular Lost. 4.55 makes it one of the strongest base damage in the game that's higher than Judas. Um, in fact, I think the only base game character that beats that is Azazel, technically. I suppose maybe some of the Tainted characters might have better. I don't know. I don't really have much experience with all the Tainted characters quite yet. So our goal then will be to tick off all of the poster notes for all the Tainted characters. And um, I'll play as the... The final few characters I need to play as and tick off their poster notes and also unlock their Tainted characters. Like, we didn't even unlock Tainted Isaac. I guess I just went down to the mother fight and forgot to do the whole red key thing. I bet, to be honest, I beat the mother. I don't really remember, but I'm sure I probably beat the mother without actually, um, you know, without actually being aware of the red key mechanic. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. God damn, this is this was a this was a poor idea for the <laughs> for the return to Isaac. Honestly, I haven't had as much time to play as I wanted to. Um, I like I said, I got like uh, at least I got the lost down to mother that was something um and and did one of the blue baby runs but i really didn't get as much time to play as i was kind of hoping i would things have been very very busy recently like insanely busy there's been a lot of distractions going on so uh i mean it's, i mean just channel stuff alone obviously the new remote series starting up it always puts me 
a good couple of days behind on content here. Skyrim, I've been trying to do more per episode as well. Otherwise, that series is never going to end. And look, I like it. I know people like Skyrim, etc., etc. But simultaneously, holy crap. I don't know if I can commit to a 150-part Skyrim playthrough. Eventually, it is just going to get really dull. And the longer it goes on for, the more people are going to drop off from watching it. And that's... You know, I don't want to just be making a 150-part series for 800 people. That would be ridiculous. So, I'm, I'm trying to make things a bit more concise with that. And as a result, it takes a lot longer to record. Um, it is still my priority to... I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to rush through Skyrim and, and finish that off as soon as possible. The sooner we get through it, the better. But if I can also do it in the most natural way possible without compromising on too much, that would be ideal. So, editing out a lot of the kind of... You know, the kind of dull stuff. Moving between provinces. I've been editing... Damn it. I've been very particular about editing out loading screens as well recently. And if there have been loading screens, doing loading screens that immediately cut to, you know, our destination. Like, say we get a quest from the Yarl of Valkyrie, or whatever boring thing we're doing at the time. Um, you know, as we leave the room that he's in, editing it so that we pop into the place where we are supposed to be. Hopefully that has been too disorientating for people, but... I thought that was the nicest way to, you know, kill two birds with one stone there. But that is, uh, that's a hell of a slog. I expected the series to be a slog, you know. It's not like, oh, I'm surprised that trying to collect every item in Skyrim is, um, is taking, oh, Jesus, is taking a long time. Simultaneously, though, it really doesn't help that the Elysium mod pack adds in a bunch of extra shit on top. I believe False Scar is in, which is this huge modded area. Um, the museum itself obviously adds a huge amount of quest line, and uh, there's apparently this thing called the Vigilance, which is in there too. It's like, my god. It's never going to end. Some optional content, unless it is very key to the gallery, will just have to be straight up ignored, I think. Otherwise, it will never end. <laughs> and there's a lot of games I, I, I do really want to play on the second channel that obviously there's no opportunities to do while Skyrim is running. Um, a lot of people want me to play, what was it, Dragon's Dogma? I think was what people were talking about. Bloodborne. Bloodborne is actually legitimately a possibility now, given that I've got better upload. The problem before was I had to compress it down so much. It's already in 30 frames a second. Compressing it down more made it kind of visually very unappealing to watch, in my opinion. Especially because Bloodborne is such a fast-paced game. The faster-paced games are, the more bitrate they've got, etc., etc., etc. So it, it, it really was... Um, it really was just not feasible before. Incidentally, I have no idea what this trinket does, um, which I know is bollocks, which I know is pretty much par for the course for most <laughs> most trinkets in Isaac, eh? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what this trinket does or did. Some sort of fancy flower, and that's about it. I really... The first... Did you remember the first Tainted Lost run we did? We got Death's Touch and Polyphemus in our first two item rooms. Purity, I suppose, is okay. Higher tier rate. Actually, that would... A combination with our tier stat. This is going to keep us going. And bear in mind, purity changes whenever you hit. So just consider that, like, one of the best tiers upgrades we could have possibly gotten. All right, then. Now we're... Now we're... Now we're... You know, we're cooking with gas a little bit. Shouldn't use that metaphor. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm absolutely starving. I woke up. Today was a weird day. Normally, I would wake up and start with, like, Skyrim. Or Isaac, when we were obviously doing that a bit more consistently. Um... I woke up and I washed up because my parents are uh, ill on the subject of what I was talking about. Oh, fair enough. Range? I don't think I really wanted that, but I suppose range can't hurt too much with the lost. My parents are actually coming to visit in like three days, so I need to start working on a backlog of content already. Um, so I decided to... I decided to uh, wash up instead, which to be fair is arguably just as important. And then I fucked around with Blender for a little while because that's kind of fun. I really like the lighting effects in Blender, especially having... Uh, I know this is very much... Uh, I don't want it to seem braggadocious, but having a powerful PC makes something like Blender a real pleasure to use because you can fuck around with, like, really dense lightings. Like, I was fucking around with, like, a bunch of 8K stuff and using really, really high sampling lighting. And the fact that you can just immediately see the effects of that is really, really nice. It's just a lot of fun to play around with. You don't have to sit there and wait for it to kind of figure out what's going on with the scene or anything like that. You just kind of crank up a slight a, a slider to, <laughs> to a ridiculous degree and it's like oh that's what it, it do look like that wow that does look better than real life thank you blender so i uh you know i rendered 
the outside world, and then I pretended that I was there. <laughs> I remember parts. <sighs> so now we're going for escape from realism in the form of Isaac, which honestly was a, was a bad idea. A poor idea. Maybe we should only play Tainted Lost going forward so that it's always easier going from here. I say that as if I know what the Tainted Keeper and Tainted Forgotten do. Well, I mean, I know what they do. They raise my blood pressure. But I mean, outside of that, mechanically, I'm not sure what they've got going for them. It's been a long time since I played The Lost. You know, like like Wrath of the Lamb era. One hit and you're out lost. If anything, it's a real trial by fire. And it actually might be really good to build up a foundation of... Jesus. Getting better at Isaac. These items are garbage. The game's really screwing me over this time, isn't it? <laughs> if I'd have known how good that Polyphemus Death's Touch run that we had on the last episode, that would have... I, I, I would have embraced that. I would have really knuckled down and I'd have put on my sweaty gamer, sweaty headband. I just assumed it was some silly mechanic of the Tainted Lost, like, okay, here you go, you're gonna die, but we're gonna give you all the power you could want. Like, one hit and you're dead, we'll take away Holy Mantle, but in return, here's all the DPS. That, I thought, was an interesting concept for a character. No, turns out we just got incredibly lucky, and this is just old-school shitty Lost with some slight bonuses. It, it doesn't seem... On, it, weirdly enough, it doesn't seem mechanically different enough for it to be worth it being its own character. No, I can do this anyway. I could just play the regular Lost. Right, what have we got then? Judgment. The Fool. The Hermit. Two of Diamonds. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm going to take the Holy Card. How does the Holy Card work? You pop it. It gives you a Holy Mantle. And does that last for the, the room? Or is that until you get hit? Oh, it's until you get hit. Oh, I genuinely thought it lasted a room. So you immediately pop holy card then. There's no reason to not do that. Oh. <laughs> well, we've learned a valuable lesson today, haven't we, team? Uh, 2020. Very nice. That's something, I suppose. Um, oh! Yeah, I may or may not have forgotten how to play this in the brief... Brief time that we've been away from Isaac, if you can't tell. Okay, let's take the Book of the Dead. Don't really like that one. Let's uh, take you. Pop pop that. Necronomicon. Necronomicon actually could be better than Book of Sin, in my honest opinion. So I think we'll roll with that. Well, I popped double holy card. Maybe they stack. Maybe we've now got two free hits. You know what? We should be using Necronomicon as much as possible. There's no point trying to hoard it for a particular... For a particular room or anything like that. Right. Sorry, I had an itchy head from where my headphones are starting to flake and they keep sticking to me and it's really horrible. I need to buy some replacement pads. I still maintain these are these are genuinely the best headphones I've ever bought. I've got some Audio Technique m 50X and they are, I think stem cell is actually literally completely beyond useless for this character. Um, problem is the, the default pads flake like hell so by the time I finish recording I'm just covered in like, <laughs> covered in like black foam. Oh! All right, I suppose it's a slightly more useful trick. Do I want to take it? I mean, more holy cards spawn. I don't want to potentially replace that with a bomb spawn instead. They, they, they are the best headphones I've ever owned. But my god, the pads are like made of the most flimsy material possible. Uh, maybe that's how they get you. Like the headphones might last eight years, but you have to spend 20 pounds every week to, you know, not be covered in foam by the time you're done wearing them. Kapow! Okay, 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 careful. Nice work. Good shit. There we go. Deal with the devil. Now, that with the lost isn't bad, but we have to pick and choose, right? Why don't we take Horror of Babylon? Because that's just a straight up speed and damage upgrade. That, I think, was worth it. What was the other one? Eye of Belial or something garbage like that? Oh, he's got a little spider web on his head. I just want to. If, if The first thing I want to achieve is... Let's go to Blue Baby with the Lost. Let's just do a regular old boring old chest eyes at run with the Lost. Get that to work. And then from there, we, we've built up a, you know, a, a kind of, like I said, a real trial by fire. We've built up some, hopefully, base skills over the course of that. Uh, it'll really, hopefully, teach me how to play this game better rather than just bundling through on my knowledge of the game. Gotta use, gotta use this book. As, I, I need to convince myself to do that more. Got to use the book the second it becomes available. Let's not pick and choose rooms. If we pick and choose rooms, we're, we're never going to get it. It'll be the least assuming room that kills me because you, you've kind of got that mindset of, hey, this is an easy room. That's bad. Easy rooms will be the one that will kill me. 
Let's go and farm up a Necronomicon play for the boss fight. Depending on what the boss is, if it's something I'm thinking of, something like Gertie. I mean, it could be actually quite handy for dealing with the the juicy st sacks and all the sticky babies. Careful. Fucking demon baby's going to get me killed here. I can see it. I found pills and ate them. <laughs> oh, look at him now. He looks so weird. <laughs> oh, lost. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. It's Bombino. Please, Bombino. I don't know what you do. I don't know what Bombino does. This is a boss I have very little experience. Whoa! Very little experience with. So if anything's going to kill me, it may or may not be this. Yes, get him. Get him. Do him in. Do him in. Bombino. Damn it. I was hoping we could shoot the bomb over. Nice work, Demon Baby. Holy shit. What a play. Okay, that is fantastic. We got perfection. Is perfection a guaranteed drop with Tainted Lost? Now, that, is that going to affect Bookworm, do you think? Doesn't look like it. Devil Deal. We can get Mega. Okay, then. Fine. Fine. Let's roll with it. I mean, we'll, we'll pop it immediately on the next floor. The only problem is with Mega. I, I, these characters, I've talked about it in depth before. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it too much more because it'll make people vomit. It's gonna make me vomit. It's all about minimizing variables, right? In that having mega, sure, it's great, but then you're thinking in your head, even even if you think, you know, monkey brain, I have control over you, monkey brain, get away from me. What's actually going on is monkey brain is thinking, holy crap, we've got mega. Let's try and get as many charges as possible with a single use. And as a result, you're gonna be blitzing through rooms as fast as possible. I think I'm probably just going to end up walking into a spike or something like that. And suddenly we're dead, you know? Let's be careful here. I did lose my did lose my one free hit. Okay, this should be fine. You think we can bait those guys to blind that up for me? I don't think it's worth the gamble. Do you think it's worth even going in there at all? Probably not. We did get two bombs from that chest. That must be fate. Black market? Let's take a peek. It's not. It's a stinky bedroom. Um... Blow up the mirror, I suppose, potentially some holy card or two pills. Bad trip, we die. Next HP up, lock down. Shot speed up, speed down. Giving me an HP up and a lock down when I've got perfection is actually just a slap in the face, and I will not forgive you for this, Edmund McMillan, creator of the Binding of Isaac. Demon Baby, please don't get me killed. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I love that it bothered to play the sound effects for, um,. They bothered to play the sound effect for perfection. Blah. Thank you for that. Really rub it in. Never mind. Never mind. Life goes on. That's why we're here, right? We're practicing. It's all about practice. I think Mega would have. I think Mega would have killed us anyway. So you know what? Fuck Mega. I've always said Mega's a bad space bar item. Well, I said that as a joke, but I honestly wouldn't consider it particularly high tier. Sure, you can wipe out a certain boss with it immediately. Well, I need boss with it immediately. Oh, Libra? Fuck it, go on. We've already got high damage. It might... It might honestly overall be a DPS upgrade, and it means if we do get shit like range upgrades or shot speed upgrades... I suppose it does come in a bit more handy, doesn't it? You know what? It really helps out with our range. When you've got spectral tiers, range plus that, we just camp out behind rocks on the other side of the room. I'll take it. Libra is one of those items that either makes or break runs. I wonder how it works with, um... Soy milk these days. I don't know why I didn't... You should probably just go in and pop that immediately, right? Is there any downside to that? Oh, you can fuck off. Horrible boss. Horrible boss. Okay. We don't need to use another... We don't need to use another one here. Bah! See, this is why I say horrible boss. Way too... Way too hard for a first floor boss. That should be like a... Unbelievable. <laughs> Unfucking believable That should be a third floor boss minimum. That's another thing I've got to complain about. Honestly, I wanted to die. I didn't like Libra. Didn't like Libra at all. Bad item. Let's not take that. I feel like, honestly, a lot of times when I go into item rooms, if an item is mediocre or even slightly worse than mediocre, I feel like I have to take it. You know? Because it's either that or you get nothing. Which is a horrible mindset to have, but it's just how it be. Okay, we've got flies. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, we've got special tears. It's all right. Never mind. Don't need to be careful. Well, we do need to be careful, but not like that careful. Bah! Careful. Get out of my way. Probably pop that. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll remember. Okay, let's go back. Because obviously our item room is not in this direction. Been bamboozled. I mean, tinted rocks? Shit. I mean, do I want to play that for the very tiny chance of getting small rock? Not really. 
I think the bombs are genuinely far more useful in a in, in an offensive context. And by that, I don't mean my main channel videos. What have we got? Bloody bombs. How dare you? Oh my god, it doesn't even give you the bombs. You know what? I'm that offended by this. I'm going to restart. I don't know how to restart on controller, okay? I don't know how to restart on controller. <laughs> Minus four. Here we go. Minus five now. Win streak. Good shit. That's what this is all about, though. That's that's fine. Don't don't expect to be watching today until I win. If we get to the 30-minute threshold and we're looking like it, we either die or it's looking like a terrible run, we'll probably just have to call it. Okay, spider bite. Ah, uh, could work. It's it's not bad. Slow effect makes enemies a bit more. Again, control and variables makes enemies a bit more unpredictable, but. Against bosses, it's actually very good, assuming it works on that particular boss, because some bosses, as far as I recall, are immune to it. This is okay though. This is this is manageable. That was good, that was good troll bomb play. One day you'll be this good at Isaac. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Man, I should have really got some breakfast before this. I'm so lightheaded. That's why I'm playing badly, by the way, not because I'm uh completely out of practice and using a controller and evidently judging by the fact that in that one room I popped the holy card and then you know dropped a bomb rather than using the item I meant to use it's definitely because I'm lightheaded and not because I have no idea what I'm doing Monstro come on we know you're not going to kill me you're just here to to fill a fill a spot honestly you're like the kid that was chosen last for the for the sports team in PE it was me it was it was always me. Unless it was basketball. At which point, it wasn't always me. But that was just, you know, like a genetic advantage, which was um, honestly a horrible reason to be chosen for anything. Hitler. Ah, latchkey. That's thoroughly useless. Thank you. No, no tears upgrade. No, that's all right. I don't need that. I don't need damage. Oh, another library. Hey, Bookworm again. Book of Belial. Okay, I could be persuaded to take Belial over Book of Sin. The Emperor. Give me Belial. Take the Emperor. Pop this. Ah, oh, it's Dirty Dangle. It's Dirty Dirty Dangle. Please. Oh, he's slowed. He's slowed. Actually, this could work really, really well against him. Careful. Okay, nice. Honestly, Book of Belial 2020. That was, that was pretty good. We got some Jesus sippies. Uh, brimstone bombs. Yeah, absolutely. It does give us the five bombs. So for the utility alone, that's already worth it. Thank you, Satan. All right. Let's go and find our ice room. You know what? Spider bite. I take that back. You know what? Spider bite. You're doing good work already. Only had him for 30 seconds. I could really do with a speed upgrade. Because, <laughs> my God, we are slow. I suppose on the plus side, so are the enemies. We've got that going for us, which is nice. Hey, sir, stay away. Book of Lyle. Remember, spacebar item whenever it becomes an option. Don't sit on it. Okay. Shops can fuck off. There's so many shop items that are... Ooh, HP dependent. Do we want that charge? Ah, not really. I'm not going to use it here. Okay, in this situation, using the Book of Blah would obviously be very inappropriate. Okay. Demon Baby, again, you can fuck off, Demon Baby. You're going to get me killed. Bombfly moves slightly past. I dodge it expertly. Demon Baby says, nah, I'm not letting this one get away, Chief. Where's the bomb in this room? Oh. I swear they've changed the way the map works in this game. I swear it was never... Like, when you picked something up, it would clear it from the map. Maybe they're just trying to tend to be obfuscating in the, you know, the very eyes that way that they tend to. Right, what's in the dirty room? That's not worth it. That's a no from me. Ah, I didn't know that they could break it like that. Okay. Well, that's a lesson. Oh my god, I didn't know if we took damage from our own brimstone. That would be a little unfair. Shot speed down. Full of health. How dare you. Tears upgrade. Nice. Probably worth it. Tears upgrade for a shot to be down. This is exactly the room I was talking about. Demon baby, demon baby, demon baby. Demon baby. Okay, let's clear this fast. I don't trust that. Don't trust that man. Okay. Okay. Good use of Book of Belial. That was ironic. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, fucking demon baby, I hate you. <laughs> Two runs in a row. I've never hated you more. Oh, a health upgrade. Oh, thanks. Oh, wow. Pick that up for the score, I guess. Please give me a good... Give me a good long range. Give me like... Give me like tech. Give me like a good long range tier. Get the hell away from it. Demon baby. I know your game. Feels like I'm Cursed eye. Literally no downside to it with the lost. Genuinely no downside to it at all. Well, I wonder if it triggers if we're hit with holy card. We haven't got holy card, so honestly, it's a it's a it's a non-point. It's a completely moot point. The high priestess. That's gonna get me killed. Excellent. <laughs> what a good use of a card. Okay. Cursed eye, honestly, with the lost kind of high tier. It's not a bad item, it's just the side effect that's obviously got awful. Which I suppose is a side effect of the item, so um again, fairly moot point. Shut up. Like, I've got to get my brain in gear today. It's Have we got spider bot on this run? That's this run, right? Yeah, we're good. I haven't quite woken up yet. I'm not in I'm not in very famous social media influencer mode. Oh, I'm in David Bowie mode though, apparently. Shop now? No. Fuck your shop. What's this? Okay, okay. Gurgling. Gurgling is bad. Slow effect, please. Yes, good. We're fine. Perfection. You're goddamn right. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, then. Does that work with... We've already established it doesn't work with thingy, right? Okay, good. Move on. Move on. That was fine. That was an easy fight. I never once thought we were going to die there. I especially love the way it was our tears stopping us from uh, stopping that enemy dead in his tracks. Oh, a range upgrade, though. Oh, it could be good. No, I'm not worth... Ah. Ah. Okay, fine. Hello. This was a mistake, wasn't it? This was a mistake. I'm going to get killed over mum's underwear. Ara, ara. Help me. Okay, okay. Okay. Shit. Demon baby. Demon baby. Okay, we're fine. Oh, it's filthy Chad. What was your name again? Uh, Mama Stinky. How dare you. I was supposed to go right in your big mouth. Yeah, eat it. Oh, it does the brimstone effect too. Whoa! I forgot she did that. What is it called? Stinky, stinky mother? <laughs> I actually do not. Carrion Queen. Carrion Queen. That's it. Okay. All in a day's work. God damn. I need to wear a heart rate monitor for this. To be honest, I probably should wear a heart rate monitor anyway. As I read through the YouTube comment section. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a controversy today, I can see it. People on the Space Heaven episode yesterday went, why didn't you save Ice Wolf? Why didn't you you were so impatient? Why did you take him out of the medical bed? It's almost like I literally, as I was playing that and recording, read it out that to tend someone in a medical bed, you need medical supplies and IV fluid, both of which are on our ship and not the hostile ship, and there's no way to transfer it over. But people are you know, people have um very fleeting hearing, apparently. When I say something that's genuinely legitimately wrong, people are very, very quick to call me out on that. But when I literally read out a reason they're wrong mid-episode, they, um, they, they, for some reason, are very myopic to that. Oh, holy card. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Myopic? For hearing? What's like the equivalent of short-sighted, but for hearing? Tone deaf. No, that's not right. No, tone deaf is what some of my Discord moderators are. Were. Uh. What's the expression? Like. I had no idea. Like, my gran used to say something about my. Well, my nan used to say something about my granddad that I can't remember what she would say about him. Selective hearing. Selective hearing. That's. Yeah, but that's still not right. Because they're not selecting to... Like, he would choose to not hear her. Um, which, to be fair, was reasonable most of the time. Uh, these guys are, like, uh, intentionally blind to it. Blind with their eyes. No, with their with their ears. If you're blind with your eyes, you're blind. That's why why it's called that, even. you got to be careful with this conversation, otherwise I'll be banned from Twitch. And yes, I am allowed to say tone deaf, okay? Because I am legally deaf. Half deaf. But I'm still legally deaf. In my right ear. When I when I went for the... Uh, I don't think I've ever told this story, actually. This is, this is a good one for the theory. When I went for the hearing review, I had to go for, like, three different things because they just could not figure out why I was suddenly half deaf. 
Um, the doctor said that the hero... Because basically, the way it works is you have this... Um, they give you this buzzer, right? And it, it hooks up behind your ear and, and like, in, into your ear and in front of the ear. I don't really remember. It was a few years ago now. Um, <laughs> a few years <laughs> uh, ago now. Anyway. Um, and they'll play a noise, and you, you press a button when you can hear the noise. And then it'll sort of get quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it, obviously, you don't press the button, and that's when they know. And the doctor said that my graphs were consistent with... And, and they said that they'd work with people who had been in wars because um, they were a hearing specialist, right? And they said that it was consistent with people who had literally lost their hearing to uh, a grenade. Now, I assured the doctor, uh, you know, as at the time, I was like 17. It was quite a while ago. I honestly don't remember. Um, I assured them as a 17-year-old from... The Cotswolds, I hadn't been around many grenades. I hadn't been in many wars. So yeah, and in the end they were just like, ah, oh, it was probably viral. You probably just had a, an infection at some point and your hearing's gone. I was like, oh, that's reassuring, thank you. And then they gave me a hearing aid. To this day, I've never once worn that. <laughs> it does, however, there's no, literally no side effects of it. Like, I can hear people fine, uh, unless they're commenting in the comment section, which suddenly, oh, suddenly I'm way deafer than I realized. Uh, but the only side effect is I have to, when I play my guitar, balance it six decibels towards the other ear, um, which is just a weird thing I've noticed. So there's that. Ah! That's why a load of people in the tier review, when they were complaining, they're like, I'm half deaf, and this microphone set you've got for tier review hurts my ears. And I'm like, well, uh, I'm half deaf, and it fucking doesn't. So your anecdotal crap about my tier review is irrelevant. Thank you. It just feels like, I don't know how to describe it. Obviously, they've, they've you know, they literally did actually an, uh, uh, an MRI. I was going to say an MRSA, but that's horrifying. Uh, they did an MRI on me and a CAT scan, and they're like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with your ear. It's fine. You know, it's not like I need to clean my ears or anything. I probably overly compulsively clean my ears uh, to the extent it makes me have a coughing fit, and that's something Elise always uh, complains at me about because she's like, I never cough when I clean my ears. I'm like, why well, are you doing it wrong? It's always made me cough. I don't know why. That's just science. I mean, I know why. It's because the... You, I mean, it's all interconnected. The systems in your head, your nose, your eyes, your your ears, your your breathing holes. You know, that's why you can pop your ears by blowing air out of it. But it just makes me cry. It just makes me cough and, by extent, cry. Also, it's a very emotional experience. Where am I going? This isn't the fucking way to the item room. Yeah, no, like they just don't know. And that's something I have to live with now. It's very difficult. It makes absolutely no difference to my life. And uh, as a result, sympathy in the in the comments would be very appreciated. You'll have to speak up, though. <laughs> I'm just going to get a bunch of all caps comments. I'm sorry to hear about the grenade incident. <laughs> well, I think this is going well. Like, I, like, I've said it before, and I don't know what, exactly the psychological reasoning behind it, but I think I play games better when I have something to talk about and I'm not at all focusing on the games. Sincerely. Like, we haven't been, what, been hit once on the past fucking five floors. There's just something about being able to focus entirely on something else and letting the muscle memory take over. Because I overthink it. Look at all these coins we've got. What the hell am I going to do with this? Open a coin shop. A bank, I think, is the, <laughs> I think is the actual term for that. I should call it a coin shop. It's, it's got a much more of a rustic feel to it. Make him feel far less aggressive. You know, when you hear the term banker, oh, I'm a banker, it's like, ooh. But if they say, I own a coin shop, suddenly it's full of mysticism and fantasy. Do I want enemies to slow down? No, you're all right. I've got a spider in my in my head. Let's go to the shop. Uh, that's danger. I almost was going to run into that, but then I realized, hang on a minute. <gasps> Epic fetus in a secret room? I wonder if that also mitigates the effect of cursed eye. Doubt it. Second active item? Sure. Why did I buy that? Let's donate. You can also fuck off as well. So, cursed eye, I believe, is mitigated with um, epic fetus, isn't it? This could be a one run. 
Epic Feast is al alone is a one a, a one a one winner, and we've got Brimstone Bombs. What a powerful combination! Masterfully executed. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe ah, uh, maybe not so. Well, I hope you like the return to Isaac anyway. Um, again, I can't promise I can do them daily because I've got a lot on my plate right now. Like, I was actually kind of hoping I could start recording ahead of time again, ready for guests and my parents, and so I could actually have a day off. But um, people in the Discord were very upset about the lack of Isaac-based content. So as a result, uh, this is where we are. Well, this is where we're at now. We're adding more content into the mix. Ooh, where have my brimstone bombs gone? Oh, there they are. What? What happened? It's not guaranteed. What the hell? No, it's not guaranteed. Oh, okay. That's weird. I suppose it would be like insanely powerful. It's already very good, but it would be insanely powerful if it was consistent brimstone bombs. I mean, that was quite an appropriate time for it to be a brimstone bomb. God damn. All I have to do is be very careful, and this is this is absolutely one. Quick, think of another topic. Distract myself. I need more suggestions for main channel games. Because we, 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 we're, we're escaping. Honestly, Space Haven, the numbers on it have been incredible. You know? It, it pulls in like 15,000 views a day. Which, compared to Remod, is obviously not fantastic. But, compared to literally everything else I've done in the channel, Crusader Kings withstanding, that's good. That's higher views than Crusader Kings was getting. That's fantastic. New problem emerges. We're playing Remod and Space Haven. Right? Common thread there. Uh, Space-based games. I don't want to end up being a sci-fi uh, gaming channel because that's like real, real sweaty, sweaty boys who up tier, you know. Uh... Okay, that was bad. Okay, now we be careful. That's something I want to. Oh, thank you. Holy crap. Holy card. The holy card. <laughs> I suppose I should pop pop these skulls a bit more as well, shouldn't I? I see if we can get one in our backpack just as a... Uh, I assume it's, it's random cards can be replaced with holy cards. I wonder how that works. Well, popping the skulls then is absolutely uh, the right thing to do. And we've got infinite bombs, so there's no... You know, no reason not to do that. Oh, God. Okay, that would have been good for a brimstone. Fly over the spikes. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, okay. Be careful. There we go. Okay, we're good. Give me another holy card. Please, I fucked up the last one. Because it's getting it. Because I'm thinking about Isaac. See, this is the problem. It's come back to haunt me. Anyway, uh, main channel. Thank you for that. How does that work? It, do, it straight up does not, does it? How do I swap between active items? This button. There we go. It, it, I, I don't want it to become a sci-fi channel because I've really got that much interest in sci-fi, and there's only so many times I can tell people. Well, I do have an interest in sci-fi, but uh, I, I, I have an interest in <laughs> also known for a fact that other people fucking don't. Because it's sci-fi, and that's for big losers. Like me. Uh, and honestly, the crossover between actual pure Rimworld and pure sci-fi is very, very little. People like Rimworld because it's a silly, silly story game. Health Which I guess in some ways is why Space Haven kind of works. Because it's got some of the elements, but it's also got some of the story. But Space Haven right now is basically just built... Honestly, I know Space Haven does feature the... Um, the crew mechanics, where they go on mental break, you have to consider their mood. I've noticed no detriment to not worrying about that. Which is very different to Rimod. You can't just ignore what people want, otherwise they're constantly breaking down, nothing is achieved. Okay, nice. Is that other guy dead? I think he's dead. You can't just feed your people nutrient paste meals all the time and be, and, and be done with it. We're in the space haven. I'm not seeing any negative side effects to doing that. Well, that's tragic, isn't it? Well, never mind. Uh, honestly, in hindsight, Dr. Peters was a poor pickup. Again, minimize those variables. And uh, that was an extra variable we didn't need. Thank you for watching. And welcome back to Isaac, I suppose. <laughs>